Are you still using email to send files? Pfft, stop. Because today I'm going to show you how to use AirDrop to transfer files, photos, and a whole lot more from your iPhone, iPad, and Mac. What time is it? AirDrop time! <laughs> Do you think that AirDrop lives in the same world as a mic drop, or are they competing ideas? Apple released AirDrop in 2011, making it eight years old. So basically, it's like a third grader. Anyway, AirDrop lets you wirelessly transfer files, photos, and other things from one Apple device to another. It's crazy convenient, and once you get the hang of it, you're gonna feel like you're tap dancing. Okay, there's a better metaphor. Oh, uh, hang gliding. You're gonna feel like you're hang gliding. No? Um, Pet grooming? Come back to me. Hey, but let's jump in. AirDrop only works between Apple devices. Hey, but what about my Pixel 3? Sorry, Android. What about my Acer laptop? Sorry, PC. Only Apple. Bam. It's like a private club. To enable AirDrop, both you and the person you're sending to need to have Apple devices with both the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth turned on. If either of you have a hotspot, turn it off because AirDrop won't work. Same is true if you're using a VPN. Pro tip. You don't necessarily need to be connected to a particular Wi-Fi network, or even the same network that the recipient's device is on. As long as you have your Wi-Fi antenna turned on, that allows AirDrop to work. Pro tip. Now, from your iPhone, it, by the way, all this works the same on an iPad and iPod Touch, you're gonna open up Control Center and press and hold on the wireless connection square until it turns into a wireless connection rectangle. Now tap on AirDrop and choose between receiving off contacts only, or everyone. Also, you can find these same controls by going into settings, then general, then airdrop. If the person you're sending to has their airdrop set to contacts only, either your phone number or email address have to be on the contact card they have for you, otherwise airdrop won't work. If you're not in their contacts, have them switch airdrop over to everyone to receive your file. With all that out of the way, anytime you see the share button, like here inside the Photos app, You'll be shown any nearby Apple devices that have AirDrop enabled. Then simply tap on the device you want to send your files or photos to. Next, on the recipient's phone, a window will pop up with a preview of the content you're sharing. They have the option to accept or decline. Once they tap accept, the photos or files you sent are transferred. Next, to set up AirDrop on a Mac, make sure that Bluetooth and Wi-Fi are enabled, and then open up a Finder window. Now, from the sidebar, click on AirDrop. Just like iOS devices, you can select who can send you stuff with AirDrop. No one, contacts, or everyone. Also, anyone nearby with AirDrop turned on will pop up in the same Finder window. It's like a AirDrop party. To share a file, you simply drag and drop it on the AirDrop person circle you want to send it to. And just like iOS, you can use AirDrop anytime you see the share button. Oh, that powerful, mighty share button. So you might be asking yourself, what kinds of things can I send over AirDrop? Well, you can send files, documents, photos, videos, audio recordings, contact cards, website links, notes, shrimp creole, shrimp scampi, shrimp gumbo, fried shrimp, pepper shrimp, to name a few. Pro tip, if you're sending something from one of your devices to another, like maybe from your iPhone to your Mac, you're not gonna see that accept or decline menu pop up, as long as both devices are signed into the same Apple ID. Yay, Apple ID. Apple ID doesn't get a lot of respect. Pro tip. Next, let's talk troubleshooting. Aww. I know, I know, calm down, calm down. People get really excited about shooting the trouble. AirDrop can work on any Mac since 2010 and can run on any iOS device with iOS 7 or newer. The most common reason AirDrop doesn't work is because of either Wi-Fi or Bluetooth not being turned on or getting interference from a personal hotspot or VPN. If you're having trouble sending a file over AirDrop from a Mac, click on the don't see who you're looking for button, then another button's gonna pop up and you're gonna click on that to search for an older Mac. Also, I don't think there's a limit to file size on AirDrop. In my last job as a video director and editor before working at CNET, I would send massive video files from my work laptop to my work Mac Pro. And they always transferred. 
Lastly, out of kindness for humanity, don't airdrop strangers in public. I don't care if you're sending something that's not lewd, it's just not cool to send something they didn't ask for. Well, okay, maybe a cute dog photo or a cute cat photo. Nope, 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 not even those. Just don't do it. That's all I've got for you today. Speaking of Apple, check out our Apple Pay video. We show you how to set it up and use it. Also, if you like what you see, give us a thumbs up. Otherwise, subscribe for more amazing how-to video.